Hi and welcome to this video where I'm going to show you our new board. It's the Simon Says board for BBC Microbit. Now what it is, is it's a, a PCB which comes fully assembled. It comes with a connector here, a little touch sensor IC, a buzzer and four WS2812B LEDs, also known as NeoPixels. Um, and that's the, the library you'll have to use when programming it. And it's got pad A, B, C and D here. Now these are capacitive touch pads. So when you put your finger on or very close to one of these, your micro bit will detect that it's been pressed. And you also get four rubber feet, which are very important. And I'll explain why in a moment. Now on the back, you've got the pin out. So you've got buzzer is on pin zero. The LEDs are on pin eight. Touchpad A on pin 16. Touchpad B on pin one. Touchpad C is on pin 12. And touchpad D is on pin two. Now, to get it to work, you'll need a micro bit. Now, I've got this micro bit here pre programmed with our example code, which has got a very simple um, Simon Says game programmed onto it, and it's available on the proto pick GitHub repository under um, micro bit, or it's also available as a, a direct link on our website on the Simon Says board page. Now, the bread, the back bit, which this is in, is an acrylic case with a PCB on the back which has got two AAA battery holders and an on-off switch so it means that I can power this without having to use cables um, dangling everywhere so what I'll do is I'll plug in the micro bit facing forward and I'll switch it on and it will run through oh now you see it run through I went B C C I think and it flashed and made a buzzing noise and then it they all flashed white and then it expected me to press the button and even though I didn't press the A button it detected that I pressed it and the reason for that I'll show you here on this well, I'll just switch this off and here's a PCB which I've lasered off using our, our laser cutter lasered off the top edge of the, the silk screen and you can see what the capacitive touch pads look like here so they're just big planes effectively of copper which are attached to the, the pins on the IC. Because there's just FR4 board behind this, which is the same with all capacitive touch sensors, if you touch it at the back it can detect a hit there. I mean the PCB is only 1.6 millimeters thick so it's not very thick at all. So when you're using this what you want to do is have it on your desk. Now not only that, but you want to use these feet here. Now the reason is, if I use this on my desk, I've got screws and whatnot in the desk, I'm holding it up in the struts and things, it can also detect a touch from these. So, on this one, you can see I put four feet, one in each corner, and not only does that help isolate it from any capacitive materials that are on, on your desk or your desk made of, it also keeps these two little solder blobs off so it sits nice and flat on your desk. So if we plug this micro bit back in and switch it on. So that was D, B, A, and then it will flash and then do it again. D, B, A, B. Now you can't see it. I'll sit up and tip it this way so you can maybe see the, the display. Oh. So, well, game over. So, yeah, that's how you can use the Simon Says board for Microbit. Now, the program we got here is very simple. Um, I'm sure there's much better versions of it you could write. It was not together in no time at all using MicroPython. But you could, for example, use the, the Microbit's radio function to one person could hit a, B, D, A, and it will send it to the other person's micro bit and they've got to say it again until one person loses. The choice is yours. Thanks very much. And um, if you want to buy one of these Simon Says boards, you can click on the link below and it will take you directly to our website. And if we don't sell directly to your territory, then you can check out the distributors tab on the page and see if there's anyone locally to you who does. Thanks very much. Bye.